Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about some of the new features available in iOS 8. The first one we're going to look at here is, of course, the most evident. You see I have a blank page here on the screen, and that is my first home page here. iOS 8 does allow you to have a blank page rather than deleting it like it normally would in, our, in previous iOS S versions. The next one is battery usage. Now, battery usage, uh, you can see by different apps by going into the settings menu here. And we'll go ahead and open settings. And in here, we can go to our general section. And inside general, you go to usage. And here you see battery usage. Okay. Now, inside here, it's going to populate a list that shows you every app on my device and how much battery use I have actually used with each app. Now right now these readings really aren't accurate that accurate because the device is just new. it's new. I haven't used it but maybe 20 30 minutes total. So this will get more accurate the longer you use it. And if you see a particular app or something that's eating up all your battery, then you can simply fix that by either deleting the app or checking some of the settings inside that app. The next thing you can do is inside Safari and in here you can actually just pull down from the top like so and you can request to see it in the desktop version or you can add a favorite if you want to do that. That's another thing you can do in iOS 8. Now you can also unlock certain apps in iOS 8 using only the Touch ID. Now of course the application has to be iOS 8 ready and have this feature included. So let's go ahead and use one password and you'll see once you tap that you get the option to enter password or use the Touch ID. I'm simply going to t use the Touch ID. You saw that and it opened it right up. Now inside here in the settings of 1Password is where you set that under the security and you go down to where it says Touch ID right here and enable that and you can set how long you want it to be open before it requires you to do it again but that's just some of the features of 1Password. Alright guys the next thing we're going to look at is called Quick Type and you see that here we get some options already across the top of the board there so if we just start typing and the longer you use this The smarter it gets. See there, it's even updating as we go. Hello, I'm asking you to visit. And it didn't get that one. So you see, as I type the word visit, I can just choose to tap that up there instead of typing it all out. Okay, see how, it's, how it works. Our site. Um, and it'll even pick up iPhone Captain here. You'll see just in a second. No longer than I've used it, it's already started catching on. So that one, there it is. All right, so that's called Quick Tap. Next, third-party keyboards. Down here at the bottom, you see the little globe. If I tap and hold on that, you see I get Swift Key. All right, that's a th that's a app that I downloaded, so it's called Swift Key. If I choose that, it's going to change the color of my keyboard, and now I have a black keyboard and some other features that go along with Swift Key. And Swift Key is actually this app right here on my Springboard. Uh, right up here at the top second one over if you tap that this is here will tell you what you need to do to set it up all the all the steps required it's very simple you simply have to add a new keyboard now and to do that you just go into your settings and go to general and keyboard and right here you're going to choose keyboard and then you're going to hit add new keyboard and you're going to choose Swift Key from down there if it don't already install it. But I didn't have to choose it. It already installed it for me. So, And there's some more you can, uh, other apps you can get. Flesky, I think, is another uh, iOS 8 keyboard app you can get to go along with those third-party keyboards. Uh, quick reply for your message. That's something that was pretty hot whenever uh, iOS 8 first came out. All right, now here at the top, if we want to just pull down on that little banner, you see we get the drop down there. Now we can reply back, and it's just that fast. Instead of having to open up our message app, 
we can do it from right here and then just tap send and it's off that's quick reply that's how easy it is to use now all those messages are going to come through that I sent earlier uh, next is group message group message is another big thing that was uh, added in iOS 8 I've already been sort of messing around a little bit with group message today me and two more people have been talking already um, and what you you can even name these if you want to by hitting details and pull down right here and just type in Sunday dinner all right now I have a name for it and also if I wanted to hit add more, uh, more contacts I could add more contacts to that particular group message doing all that from inside the details and to start it to start a group message hit the uh, if you want to add a new group message right here you just hit the two and then hit the plus and then choose whoever you want if you wanted to choose just anybody here randomly then you can hit another plus and hit another one here that one doesn't even have an end plus and then right on down the line as you can see now we have three people in there for our group message and then I could just tap the tap the uh, text I wanted to send my message and hit enter and it would go to those three people so I'm gonna hit cancel there and come back out of that that's group messages now you can also block or mute conversations inside your message app too simply by opening up your uh, same the same messages here go to details and if you didn't want to be disturbed by this particular uh, person you could just turn this toggle on right here and it would mute that conversation and you wouldn't be able to you would not receive any of the notifications now if you were going to try to block them completely totally block them from being able to send you a message then that's a, a totally different story to block them you just open up your contacts choose the contact that you want to block select that contact from the list here open it up and when it opens up scroll down to the bottom right here and just simply tap block this caller and then you'll be won't be receiving phone calls messages FaceTime or anything from those people so that blocks them pretty easy and if you're curious to know if someone has actually blocked you I have a way to find that out and I'll annotate that in the video here and in the description below that way you can find out if any of your friends are blocking you guys uh, next up you got voice message and video messages which is also in the message department so you come in here and if you want to create a voice message you just simply tap and hold down and then hit the little up key and it'll actually enter it'll actually send it that fast and you can also send video messages just like so and you can hit the record button and hit and as long as you hold the little red button down it'll record and then if you wanted to send it you just hit the little up key and it'll send it you see it's progressing across the top up there and once it goes all the way across that means it's sent then you can play it back if you wanted to photo editing now you can simply go into your stock photo app right here and you see I have this little picture of my dog tap the edit button and you got the little magic wand up there if you want to tap that it'll do everything for you automatically if you want to crop or reposition it or anything like that you just hit the little crop button down there and you got some different things you can change the or the uh, size based on you know whatever you want to choose from here you've got different filters you can add several of those and you also got you can change the light the color the black and white all that guys very awesome way to spruce up your photographs next up is sharing your location now if you wanted to share your location with friends if you guys were meeting up for coffee or something like that all you will need to do is simply just open up the message to whoever you're sending it to tap details and just simply tap send my current location or share my location and it's on its way very easy pretty much everything you want to do is under this details now also while I'm here and we're looking at it you can also see all of your media for a particular conversation under the details tab and you see we just sent this little uh, video message earlier and you can see it's right there next up is sharing photos now you can share more than one or two photos at a time 
and if you wanted to do that you could go into your photo app here and we're going to go to select and then you would just choose the ones you want if I wanted to choose those two and then just tap who hit the little up key there to share and then just hit message or email or however you wanted to share them and then you could just tap send and it be on its way very simple way to share also if you wanted to share it in an email you could hit email and then you would just put whoever it was to there and it would be off and running the same way that's how you share your photos also guys inside your camera app you have timers now so if you open your, your camera up go up here to the little timer you see you got three second or ten second so now you can actually get in the shot of any of the photos that you wanted to be in at Christmas time or whatever you can add widgets and in in when you're adding a widget in here you would actually pull down your notification hit edit right here we all, right, currently I only have the Dropbox app installed that supports widgets every app don't support it but I did pull that stock app out there widget out of the uh, notification I hate that I don't know why Apple even adds it in there uh, I don't have any stocks I probably never will have any stocks uh, I, I'm I'm luckily to afford, to afford the iOS iPhone 6 phone so Apple if you're listening quit putting the damn stocks widget in everything we don't like that all right enough ranting now also in here you see uh, if you wanted to see the last five files that have changed or been added to Dropbox right here they are and that's a pretty awesome way to interact with your Dropbox that's the widgets emergency call and we're going to unlock and right here if you tap emergency now right here it's not talking about this keypad it's talking about the medical ID down at the bottom and to fill this information out you're going to have to go into health out so we'll go up here and hit health and open health and what you're going to have to do is go to medical ID and you're going to have to hit tap edit and you're going to have to fill out all that information but make certain that this little show when lock toggle is turned on or you will not see that all right that's very important that way if someone finds your phone if you're unresponsive they can call whoever that you've set up or they'll also see maybe that you're diabetic or whatever kind of medical conditions you have that could possibly save your life guys that's the emergency call now if you wanted to block someone from calling you works the same way go to contacts pull up the the contact that you want to block tap block this caller and just hit block contact very easy to do next up is the iCloud photo beta alright now this is something that's just been started and like I said it's in beta so if you wanted to if you want to try it that's gonna to be totally 100 percent left up to you so you can go into iCloud go into the photos now right up here at the top you see iCloud photo library and if you turn that on it's going to automatically upload all of your photos and videos to iCloud but you're going to have to have iOS 8 on your other devices to even be able to see it so if you have if all of your devices have iOS 8 on them go for it uh, I say it's a be a pretty cool feature but I currently don't have iOS 8 on all of my devices so I'm not using it but I am telling you how you can get it all right guys if you want to have Siri tell you what song is playing simply just open her up and we'll see if it works so I'll go ahead and start us up a song here we all see what's playing right here now let's see if Siri can get it what song is that there you got it guys you see she hit it spot on and if you wanted to buy that song all you'd have to do is tap buy and Siri wins again Next up, guys, if you want to take flyover tours in your maps, all you have to do is open up maps, and you're going to have to search a city that that even has this available. So not every city has it available. I've searched New York, New York, and you see now I have the flyover tour option available. I'm going to tap that, and now it's going to actually take me for a flyover tour of New York City. 
and that's pretty damn awesome guys check it out there's the statue of liberty and it just makes you feel like you just wish you were there and there she is all alone on the little island looks like surrounded by all that water look how big and beautiful that city is I would just love to visit that one day and just look at all the magnificent buildings there anyway guys I'm gonna stop rambling that's how you take the flyover tour something definitely worth checking out and something that I think you'll have a lot of fun with now also you can add more ways to share under the share option if you open up let's say Safari and hit the little up key there and just go to your more and in here you can switch things around turn things on and off same thing here on the second level hit more and you can move things around drag and drop like so and turn the one password on or off that's that's pretty awesome you see actually um, I thought I had that turned on which I did earlier so now it's the first thing uh, which is pretty cool guys uh, download bundles in the app store rather than one app it is I just search bundle and you see apps in bundle here you got diptych so let's choose that and here for $2.99 you get the three apps that's listed right here in the bundle so you know that's a pretty cool way to save some money uh, that's how you download in bundles and next up guys if you want to do the time-lapse video uh, I got a video showing some awesome footage of that you definitely want to check that out that's going to be in your camera app and you're going to go in here to video and go to time lapse and if you want to record something here and have it play back in time lapse you know I could move my finger very slow like so and then when I played it back it would only take it a couple of seconds or so to play back so Here's time lapse. Uh, next up, you got the uh, Speak Hey Siri when it's plugged up. Now, let's go in here and see what she says. Hey Siri, what's the weather? And you can see, guys, if you have your hands full, this is an awesome way to make a phone call and to do many different things. So, guys, there's a load of different things you can do with iOS 8. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little bit long. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a great deal. Share the video on your Facebook and Twitter. That would really help show support and keep coming back.